Nicholson will provide width on the right. Michael Barrios on the left and spearheading the attack, the 18-year-old. Yeah, the international window right around the corner, so three changes from Adrian Heath. Uh, keep an eye on Kamar Lawrence and DJ Taylor will provide the width in the outside, backs in the middle. Ariaga, well, you talk about what the game gives you, and you talked about, about Adrian Heath and that disruptive preseason, not just with Babella Reynoso, but remember, week two was a bye for them, and now they're getting ready to go into that international window next week. And, so and Max from behind, Rubio Vasquez says it's okay. No real complaints from Minnesota. Dotson, got players facing goal. Lud off the left peg, just wide. Yarbrough had to go full commitment because he knew it was close. People forget Austin Aztecs before he moved with Orlando City or to Orlando to create Orlando City. Oh, there's a glancing effort. And again, Dane St. Clair had to give it his attention, who has been one of the bright spots for the Rapids tonight. Yeah, and some conversations between DJ Taylor and Hassani Dotson. We've talked about it over and over in Liga Mekis teams. Barrios gets the ball from Ronan. Barrios has a step, looks over to Lawrence, gets the cross in, and sails over. Nicholson, still time for Bassett. Yapi wants it at the back of the 18. Still screaming for it. Bassett calls his own number, takes on the challenge, and scores the Rapids' first goal of the season. Cole Bassett says, get on my shoulders, I'll take you there. Goals change games, and it's what we talked about with Robin Frazier. The foot race between Barrios and Kamar Lawrence. Ball floated to the back post just when you think that Minnesota has it covered. One versus three, Yappy wants it. Chop, set up, gets to the end line, and I mean, you talk about accuracy, pinpoint accuracy. That could not be any more perfect for Cole Bassett to not only beat two defenders, but we're talking about, you know, this could be one of these sneaky offensive games. Speaking of, corner, is that a penalty? Is it a handball? It is! Minnesota, from your lips to Rubio Vasquez's ear. Well, as the ball's yeah. coming down this left-hand side, it's Danny Wilson. Wilson yeah. He's made himself marginally bigger, and that's that arm comes out again it's the most difficult thing as a defender and i keep saying if there's daylight you put yourself in a situation where the referee gets to make a decision amaria here in the 54th minute tucks it away and ties it up for the loons here at dick sporting good park the lead was brief and Amaria gets his first goal of the season. He scored nine last season, hoping this is a launching pad for him. Took just and five minutes. Amaria, it's just a competent penalty. Once the goalie goes down to his right, he's already chosen which way he's going to go the opposite way. Cool, calm, collected, levels the score line, 1 1, 54th minute. And the data says, like, again, to emphasize your point, didn't finish those chances, but it was a big part in helping create them as Price lifts this up. Wilson off the crossbar. Second effort. Flying in Marketic. Oh, he almost scored a goal from his memorable night here. Price oh. falls. Fragapane. Amaria. Hongwane with him. Three on two for Minnesota. Amaria. If he's onside, it's Longwane. Do the dance, but the flag goes up. Bongi was about to do the Bongi. The balance of going after it, but maybe potentially leaving yourself open. There's there's a, a definite chess match being played between the two managers. But I got funny. Oh, Ooh. the cover oh, header! Absolutely breathtaking! They set it up! And Minnesota are in front! Unbelievable! On oh, the set piece and Franco Fagapane since his involvement has created a bunch of different chances, mostly through the run of play, but as this ball comes in, it's an in-swinger. It's right down the gut of Colorado's defense. He creates the space, gets away from Lalas Abubakar, and it doesn't take much, but the acute angle, the acute touch, the flick of the header, far Great ball. They're trying to get Lawrence involved, and they're, they're finding some openings there. He gets to the end of it. Rosales unattended, driven in, and oh, Ariaga just missed it. That was mighty close from the big Hondureño. No look at the watch yet for Vasquez. He will allow it to continue. Now it's a look at the watch. And no Bebelo Reynoso. No problem for the Loons. They get their first ever victory at Dick Sporting.